So this is Ventoy. Now with Ventoy, you can create a bootable USB drive to boot up an ISO image or a WI or IMG or VHD file. So with Ventoy, you can upload multiple ISO files in that USB drive to boot up. For example, you can upload a Linux ISO file or a Windows ISO file. So this is Ventoy's website and there's a lot of information here. So here are the features and this is a screenshot. I'll click on screenshot and here you can see how Ventoy looks when it is booted up. All these Windows files are loaded in the USB drive and you can choose whichever ISO you would like to boot up from. So you can use this to troubleshoot. For example, you can boot up in Windows and troubleshoot a Windows computer. You can also upload Linux ISO file and you can boot up into a Linux operator system. So you can use a USB drive or you can use a regular hard drive, for example an SSD drive connected to the computer by a USB. So I'm going to click on downloads. I need to download the file for Windows. So this is Ventoy for Windows. It's a zip file. I'll click on that. It's going to take me to SourceForge. So here you want to download the Ventoy for Windows zip file and it's downloading. Okay, so the Ventoy file was downloaded. I'm going to unzip the file on the desktop. I'll just drag it across and click Extract. So the drive that I'll be using as the Ventoy drive, it's an SSD drive and it's 500 gigabytes in size. So it's listed as a key drive in this computer. So I'm going to install Ventoy and I'm going to open the folder. I'm going to double click on the exe file. This is the file here, Ventoy to disk.exe. So under the device, this is the SSD drive, which is the key drive in my computer. There's a drop down tab. So if you have more than one USB drive here, it will show up. So I'm going to click install. So it says data will be lost. Please enter yes. So I'll click OK, click yes. And it's installing Ventoy in the SSD USB drive. Ventoy has been successfully installed on the SSD drive. I'll click OK. I'll close this. So I have some ISO files here and some of it are Linux and I have one Windows 11 ISO file and I'm going to copy this over to the Ventoy drive. I'm going to open up the Ventoy drive and I'm going to copy all of this over. Okay, all the files were copied over to the K drive. So now I'm going to take this SSD K drive and I'm going to boot up a Dell computer in Ventoy. Okay, this is a Dell computer. So I'm hitting the F12 key on the keyboard to get the BIOS boot menu. So I'm going to choose the SSD drive, which is 500 gigabytes in size. I'll hit enter. And this is how it looks. This is Ventoy. And you can see a list of all the ISO files that I copied into the key drive. So, okay, I'm going to choose Linux Mint to boot up from. I'll hit enter. I'll boot in normal mode. I'll hit enter on the keyboard. And I'm going to start Linux Mint. Hit enter. So, this is Linux Mint. I'll click on the start menu. And I can browse all the different menu options. So to choose another ISO file to boot from, I'll have to reboot the computer. So I'm going to select Ubuntu to boot up from. I'll hit enter again. I'm going to select the first option, hit enter. And there you have it. Ubuntu is booted up. So I'm going to restart the Dell computer again and choose another ISO file to boot up from. I'm going to select the USB SSD drive. So I'm going to choose Windows 11. I'm going to hit enter, boot in normal mode. I'll hit enter again. So I'm going to click next. So this will come in handy if you need to repair a computer. Click on repair your computer. So here I can choose an option and I can click on troubleshoot to troubleshoot a computer that is not booting up correctly. So I'm going to reboot the computer. 
So I can also install any one of these operating systems in the computer. So another feature of Ventoy is that I have the option to browse the C drive of the computer that I'm booting from. So I'll hit F2 on the keyboard. So this is a C drive here of the Dell computer. I'll choose that. So there's a folder called software. I'm going to browse to that folder. And I have some ISO files in that software folder. I have a Windows Server 2022 and 2019. So I'm going to choose Windows Server 2019 to boot up from. I'll hit enter. Hit enter again. And it booted from the Windows Server 2019 ISO file. So I can click on repair your computer and troubleshoot a Windows 2019 server. So I'm going to install Ventoy using Linux. So I'm on a download section of Ventoy. So I'll click on the Linux a tar file. This is the file. I'm going to click on it to download it. And it's downloading. So it downloaded. So the Ventoy file is in the downloads folder. I'm going to open the downloads folder. It's here. And I'm going to unzip it. I'll click extract here. I'm going to open terminal app. I'm going to type ls. So I'm going to navigate to the downloads folder. I'll type cd downloads. I'll type ls. So I'm going to type cd ventoy dash 1.0.96. I'll type ls. So the file that I need is this one, ventoy gy.x86 underscore 64. So that's the file. So I'll type dot forward slash ventoy gy.x86 underscore 64. Hit enter. I have to type in the password. So I have a USB drive in the computer and it's a 16 gig USB drive. So all I have to do is click install now, click OK, click OK, and it's creating a Ventoy USB drive. So Ventoy is a handy tool to have and you can use a USB drive. It depends on how many ISO files you would like to upload in that USB drive or you can use an external SSD drive. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.